Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all for coming again. This is your boy, Mr. Epic, the Don. You are here with us live, baby. You understand me from Naptown. Yeah, y'all get to see these beautiful faces, especially right. mine. This is definitely your show. Catch our drift if you can. Hopefully, you ain't got butterfingers. So today we're coming at y'all with another dope topic, you know. We're going to come at y'all with some definitely some hits. Before we do that, you go, we got to definitely give the, uh, let the ho I mean, co-host go ahead and speak his piece and let y'all know who he is and where he coming from. Yes, indeedy. Let's go, boy. Go ahead and say who your, who your name is. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. All right. You might have heard us on the, on the anchor. You might have heard us on the on the podcast spitting it out there on the social drink but hey here on the catch our drift you got your boys truly you know king swim um uh, catch me every day winning <laughs> nah, <bro. laughs> um reality is hey thank you guys for joining uh the show today participating with us like i said it's your boy king swim and welcome to another episode of catch my drift or catch our drift Let's i'm go. sorry Let's go. So today we will be talking about the enemy within, mm -hmm. aka or subtitle, however you want to spell it out, me versus I. Ooh, now we deep. come at you with this topic because one of the biggest critics that you have every day is that voice inside is telling you you're not good enough. Mm -hmm. The voice is telling you that you don't have nobody loves you. The voice is telling you you are not worth it you know the voice is telling you to quit you know that mental you know the thing people don't understand or, or, or can tackle right now of how mental health is really affecting oneself more than anything that man you know a lot of things that i don't care what nobody else say to me i think i care i don't care about nobody else's opinion but the opinion of myself and sometimes the opinion of myself is the most crucial opinion I criticize myself more than I criticize anything in life, period. So we just want to talk about those voices that you hear. Not saying you crazy, not nowhere near saying that you're crazy. Because we've all hear that voice that when things starting to get tough, it's telling you to quit. The voice that's telling you that, you know, every the people around you don't have that love for you. You know, your family, your friends, your, your, your spouse, you know, your kids, whatever it is. So here we just want to tell you guys to just give us a listen to ear. Maybe we're telling y'all some things that y'all need to hear. Some things that some from our own personal experience that can help y'all out and help y'all out with this journey. You know, there's a lot of books I've had read about self-empowerment. But I've also read a few books that's talking about, you know, how to train that voice where that voice is the one that's more muted and the voice that of positivity is the one voice that's over the loudspeaker instead of the one that's the negative voice. See, positive and negative energy is something that I definitely truly believe in. Uh, one of the things when I get up in the morning, I definitely tell myself how awesome I am. I hug myself sometimes, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? You know, I shit, even sometimes even kiss myself because, you know, some people's like, man, bro, that, that seemed like a whole lot, Mr. Epic. But the thing is, these are the things I need to do to make myself better. Uh, it's about me going into this world with all my, my, my shield and my, all my armor on ready for war. But the biggest word I have is the one I have in my head. Now, Mr. Epic, he's always, I mean, Mr. Mr. Swinnow's always winning. So I don't know if he go, he has any of these things right here because that man, that's all he thinks. He win, 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 no matter what. That's what he does. You know what I mean? So, 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 I, so that's I, the mentality is to win, win, win. But the reality is, Miss, you know, King Swin doesn't always win, win, win. Um, you know, there's this thing that where I work at, they say, uh, man, he hates to be wrong. It's not that he hates to be wrong. It's he hates to stay wrong, right? Um, a lot Wait, of the time. Hold on, hold on, don't go no further. I'm sorry for cutting you off. Please so, repeat that. That that was a gem dropper, bro. That right? was some coins right there. So, so real talk. A lot of times, like I said, a lot of people say, "Hey, uh, King Swin, he hates to be wrong." It's like, no, 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 no. You got this messed up. 
it's not that I hate to be wrong. It's that I hate to stay wrong. Um, we have to adjust, and sometimes it's on the fly. And the reality is, it isn't about who's right, who's wrong. It's just about getting it right, right? So then as we as we go into this topic of the enemy within, uh, the me versus me, uh, a lot of the times what people don't really understand is the most gullible muscle you got in your body is your brain. I'm going to say that one more time. The most gullible muscle you have in your body is your brain. It'll believe anything you tell it. Okay. And the gatekeeper to your brain and what it's believing and what it's processing isn't the friends. It isn't your mama. It isn't your daddy. It isn't your, your cousins. It's you. Right. Mm. So with that being mm. said, the me versus me is you have to be one to then take control of what's going to control you. Right. So that's the me versus me. You kind of got the left shoulder, the right shoulder thing, right? You know, the little left shoulder thing. Oh, man, forget that. Give up, man. We ain't got time for all that, man. You know, that's usually the, what people say. And you start, a lot of people get caught up in what others say and start trying to fit in a lot of the times, right? But a lot of people don't know who they are and what they represent. So then that's where you kind of get the me versus me. But part of the me is you have the me that's actually you and true to you over here. And then you have the me mm -hmm. that's true to the crowd, right? And they listen mm -hmm. to the, the people of the world, people, you know what I mean? And yeah. so at the end of the day, it's like, oh, that ain't cool, that ain't cool. But over here, you're like, I really don't like doing that. But when I get with this group, if I don't do this, then I'm going to be talked to a certain kind of way. So you kind of conflict it, right? That's the mm -hmm. me versus me. And what we really have to get to the point of is where you're in control of you. The things that when you wake up, you know, you need to say something something positive each morning. Um, you, at least from my experience, you know, tell yourself something, have control of yourself right away, right? Because at the end of the day, um, what end up happening is when you let the other you control you, then you get lost along this journey and you find yourself in a lot more trouble than you find yourself in better situations. And then I'll turn it back over to you, Mr. Epic, with a question though. Um, I definitely, I definitely, oh, okay, go ahead, my bad, I don't so, want to interrupt. Uh, no, it's all good, and the question is, like, we're talking about the me versus me, um, the question would be is, do you believe, or have you ever experienced, you know, a situation where, okay, you might have wanted to move forward, but at the same time, maybe you didn't know how to, or, you know, uh, maybe somebody wasn't going to approve of the move that you actually were trying to make, and then you let that prevent you from making that move forward. Has that ever happened for you? Yeah, and I, definitely, definitely I, it has. And But I've learned that the problem with that is if you cannot walk with me on this journey, then I'm a, I, I got to always remix somebody's advice I, or, 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 or guidance. Um, the thing is, I don't want... I don't want what you went through easily influence my decision. So me, myself, personally, I like to listen to people downfalls, some people's upcomings, and then I try to decipher them for, for me. Uh, you said something that was very, you know, powerful is about the, the shoulder thing. Really, what if I'm, I'm not mistaken, and if I'm wrong, just tell me I'm wrong. But it's, it's like a cartoon character. You see the devil on one side and you see the angel on one side. Get on. So I really feel like with that being said, sometimes you got to have an equal balance, the yin and yang. Mm -hmm. Your balance got to be equal. So when you're making decisions, I always try to make decisions on what are the pros from making this decision? What 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 is ultimately what is what am I going to achieve by continue going forward? Now I also gotta listen, look at the cons because what am I gain? What am I losing if this if it goes all the way left? So you gotta really kind of listen to, and I ain't gonna say the devil, but I'm gonna say the past me and the future me, and mm -hmm. I'm in the middle that present me. So I gotta listen to the past me because I know the past me was was an irrational thinking person, and the future me is a more a precision. He strategized. 
And I and I, I'm right here in the middle. So the person in the middle is really trying to find a balance between the two. So that's where it comes like where it's a pool, you know what I mean? Because you don't really know how to keep that yin and yang, that that light and dark, if you want to sit there and say it, that sunshine and, 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 and night, you know, the daytime and night, I should say. So the one reason why I really have a struggle with that is because in the past, that past me is the person I know better than I do this future me. So I'm trying to lean more to that future me because the future me is more of that more peaceful person, more give a person a chance, give myself a chance at that, not even other people, give myself a chance. Uh, we, me and you both play football, right? Yep. You know, and yes, sir. Uh, one of the things that we used to have at, on my football team is never give up. So I try to live by that. And what I learned from that life lesson is not only not give up on my teammates, but don't give up on myself. Right. So I hope y'all caught my drift. I'm right. going to lean back on that one. All right, I feel so like I, wanna... I need to drop a mic like I was Rick James out here. <laughs> right, right. So so <laughs> I'm going to get to drifting on them real quick, man. And hopefully they can catch what we're putting down and catch our drift on this, right? So one of the things that you just talked about was you know, as we talk about the enemy within and we talk about me versus me, um, let's talk about, you, you, you spoke on it. You said the old me versus the new me, right? I personally want to address this by asking everybody out there, can you be the old you and the new you at the same time, right? The question one more time: Can you be the old you and the new you at the same time? Can they coexist? Right? Can, can, are you throwing that to me? You can take it, and then I want to take it right back after after you take okay, it. Okay. Well, let me let me say this. I think that me myself personally, I don't think I can all the way be the old me and all the way the new me. But I feel like I could take some of the seasonings, right, and, and, and make my own type of gumbo. Understood. Because I can't leave back the asshole me. I'm sorry. <laughs> a, a little bit, a little bit right. of asshole. Right. I, I still gotta take that. That little bit of aggressiveness, I gotta still take that. A, a little bit that you got me messed up. I gotta take that from that. You know right. what I mean? Now there's certain things that I'm not. I mean, people that do know me, I was a big boy at one point in time. You can keep that back there. You know what right. I'm saying? But that new me do have to learn when, when I need to pull that trigger. I mean, not like no gun. I'm not, let, let's make that understand. When I say Absolutely. pull that trigger, I mean, bang, be bang. that a-hole. Be that aggressive. Right. Be that, that, that person that, oh, you got me messed up. But then now I learned how to use those, do those same things, but I use them with words. Or when it get too hot in the kitchen, I go ahead and go in the living room. Because it seemed like it's cooler in there. Right. <laughs> so, so go ahead, which go ahead, Mr. Swindle. All right, so, so I'll take it from this standpoint. Like it's just like packing a bag when you're traveling, right? Everything that you got in your closet can't go with you on the mission or on the journey that you're on, right? You right. know, you, you have to look at where you're going, right? Let's say that you live in a warm climate, but you're going somewhere cold, cold. Well, all the warm gear can't come with you. So that stuff can't travel. You have to look at where you're trying to go versus where you been versus where you're trying to go. So you know what to bring along with you from the old you to the new you. And that's a good uh, comparison of the two, right? So then mm -hmm. at the same time, there's some things that you have to leave behind. You know, yeah. that doesn't mean you just have to totally delete, but there's a time and a place for that, depending on mm -hmm. the destination. And that's where I think a lot of people have to really understand is everything of the old swing, for example, cannot move forward for the new swing to be able to be successful. All those things aren't conducive to my growth, right? Indeed. So at the end of the day, the blessings that God may have in store for me, you know, as I move forward, I can't, it's, uh, what if I do say, bag lady, you gonna hurt your bag, carrying mm -hmm. all them bags like that. Talk right? that talk, talk that I talk. I guess nobody ever told you. I ain't say you keep singing. I oh, ain't okay, say that. Okay, okay. So the whole point is, <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I, I, I feel like I got a good voice on me, right? Oh, but at man. the end of the day, the whole point is, 
you know, sometimes you got to drop them bags off. And then as you're on your journey, if you continue to bring the wrong people, the wrong crowd, the wrong behaviors and everything else along your journey with you, you're going to continue to have issues. You're going to continue to fail. You're going to continue to have problems every day or once a week or once a month. And you're going to keep asking yourself, man, why is it that I keep coming back to the same point? So there are certain things that you have to understand the mission that you're on. So for me, can you be the old you and the new you at the same time? To me, the answer is no. And the reason is, is because just like a plant or anything else, we all grow. And sometimes you grow into, and sometimes you grow out of. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me say it one more time. Sometimes you grow into, and then sometimes you grow out of. And you have to understand sometimes growing into could be new friends, new environments, new behaviors. Sometimes growing out of could be friends, family, behaviors, any of the things that are uh, applicable in that situation, right? But you as a person, once again, have to understand that journey that you're on. And once you embrace that journey that you're on, you can then embrace the person that you're becoming because at the end of the day, the enemy within is the one that's afraid to let go of the things that they've been used to. You know, uh, one of the things that a lot of people face and a lot of people have trouble with is being in the uncomfortable zone. And the uncomfortable zone is, you know, hey, I'm so used to this, that, and the other. I think that if I was in the streets or whatever, when I go to work, I'm going to talk to them just like I'm in the streets. No, 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 no. Now, there are principles from in the streets that you can take to work and present it a certain kind of way in business deals and transactions so they understand that you're not a dummy or anything like that. Those the That's hustle. possible. The hustle part of different things like that. But at the end of the day, there are certain things that you can't expect from this life over here to then transition into this life over here. So one of the key points that I just want everybody to take from that last session I said for me personally is you have to plan. You have to understand where you're going and know how to pack your bag, right? And that means pack your bag is for yourself. You got to leave some things behind. You got to bring some things with you, right? Um, Then also, too, you know, you grow in the things, you grow out of things. And then, Mr. Epic, I throw it back to you. What you got, buddy? First down. How are you? So let let me say this. I I get what you're saying, but somewhat... I'm going to have to disagree with some of that because and that is totally fine. Yeah. Cause I, only, I think you will understand why I say that because I want to remember some of the things that I was about from the past me. So I could continue growing forward because if you forget, you don't know where, where you're going. You don't know the direction you're supposed to be going. You know what I mean? Now some direction, it could just be God given, but mm-hmm. some direction is like, I don't want to be that person again. Right. I don't want to be that for whatever reason. So I understand what you're saying that you don't want to keep having those bags on your back or all that weight on your back. But some of that weight got to stay on there because how are you supposed to get strong if you don't keep some of that weight? You know what I mean? And that's just me. I think that I need to keep some of these things that my like, dang, I used to be like that, man. Man, I, 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 I wronged that person. Well, for what reason? Because whatever reason, that's why I did it. But I could be uh, wronging myself more right. than I've wronged anybody else. But on my journey, I can't forget where I started from. Because we all going to turn back around and be like, dang, I, I, that's where I was at at one point in time? And I think that's the reason why I think that you should keep some of that weight. Now, I, I agree with you when you say you can't completely be what you used to be. Absolutely. And that's the reason why I continue saying that you got to remember some of that weight that you carry to get to that point. Now, true enough, you might have dropped some of them bad habits off on that journey, on that road or whatever. Like, oh, I don't need that no more. Boom. Let me go ahead and get that up off of me. Oh, I don't Absolutely. need that no more. Let me go ahead and get that up off of me. But then when you started realizing that, dang, I dropped off the bad attitude. I started being more uh, a more person that that uh people will come to gravitate to because I left some of that behind, you, you know. And even like what you said, 
even those might not just only be you yourself personally, it right. can also be some of the negativity, the outside negativity. No, you know no, what I mean? I, and I totally agree with you. I, I think, you know, more so what I'm saying is, you know, the when we talk about the journey you're going on, right? You know, you can bring certain things with you. You can't forget where you come from or those type of things like that, but you can't pack all your where I come from gear with you when you move no, forward. Exactly. Usually exactly. those things are small memorabilia or some pictures, yeah. you know, yeah. different things that you can carry from that standpoint. And the reason why I say that is I don't want the I don't want the people to get confused on like, hey, as you're trying to move forward. I just totally got to wipe out my memory of where I've been or anything like that, because you have to have a baseline of what you're growing, what you're growing to or where you're coming from to measure your success or measure your growth. Right. Mm -hmm. But however, you know, at the at the end of the day, my challenge is just more so. You want to get caught up in the journey moving forward, because usually if we want to use the football analogy as a receiver, if you're running, boom. Coach usually tell you don't look back because when or even in track, right? Maybe it's more of a track thing. If you look back, then they're gaining ground on you, right? So now in life, you have to take moments to stop and say, man, what have I accomplished? Where am mm -hmm. I going? But now once you've done that, pack your bags accordingly for where you're going to that from there. You know what I mean? Oh, so no, you yeah. I think I think those memorabilia and those moments will always be around and always be a token of you. You'll always have that little chip or that little spot right here where it's like, man, you know what? You didn't change, man. You all different because the people around you are going to tell you that. You don't even got to pack it because the people around you, oh, you brand new. You think you better than somebody. You that Have you ever experienced that? You know what all I mean? the time. Right. And, and, you and know, the biggest people is from my family. Right. So I could be you. family, close friend. So, Really? So do you really need to pack that? Or will somebody always remind you where you come from versus where you go? Yeah, you know I mean, so. But in my, my opinion, myself, uh, I, I, I could never criticize you more than you criticize yourself. Oh, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so my God. who gives a damn what I say? You know what I mean? And that's how I really go, because I look at that same person and say, I think I'm better than you. No, no, boo boo. I just try to do better than you. But both. Meaning, me, me, yeah, meaning that when I say I'm trying to do better, I'm not trying to stay in the same spot I once was being in. You know what I mean? You could be in the same position, but it's about your mindset. Right. You know what I mean? You keep telling yourself that you bet I'm better than you. No, you're not. Absolutely. That everybody has a certain type of special skills. Like you have certain things that I probably only got entry level with, you right, know what like I mean? Looks like looks. <laughs> hey, no, no I like heard that. Learning your daddy's favorite moves. Uh, no, no doubt. Let's, <laughs> let's rock with it. Let's rock with it. Sorry, no. ladies and gentlemen, this is a relationship that's been formed over many a years. So if you don't catch the inside joke, trust me, we did, and we'll continue to move forward with it. So you know. So I mean, the thing is. Everybody have a, a set of skills. Now, if you utilize those skills, if you tap in those skills, that's what make you better than me. Now, if we got similar skills, then hey, how about we work together and, and kill it together? You know what I mean? My whole thing is whatever I have, whatever you have, people can achieve those same things. But it's all about the mindset that you have. Go ahead, speak your piece. Yeah, so what I just want to say too is, you know, the... So th these are different things that, that can lead to other topics and everything else, you know, but one of the biggest things that we want to talk about as we're talking about the enemy within or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. One of the biggest thing I want to capitalize on here is, you know, even before we go into working with others and everything else, you know, one of the biggest things that you have to understand and you have to get under control is within yourself and everything from success to failure or anything like that doesn't start with other people's comments or what they think about you or anything else. It starts with you. It exactly. starts with you. It starts from within. So the enemy within, once you are able to conquer it, then you will become unstoppable, un, un, undeniably one of the best at whatever you decide to do because you won't be that. that yeah, there, there, this fake thing or 
Oh man, that is that'd be something of the past because once you learn to embrace uh, your journey, your mission, your life, what what was meant for you, and embrace that, man, that thing is something that is uh, just some one of the most beautiful moments that you can ever experience in life. And I challenge one to continue to work on that because at the end of the day, once you get pure about yourself, or once you get pure about um, the enemy within, and you conquer that. Everything that you give to other people now becomes more pure versus something that is built upon uh, what everybody else says, keeping up with the Joneses and everything else like that, right? And that's not that's something that we need to remove from the society as much as possible. And I think once you take that look in the mirror and you say, hey, you know what? I want to get better. I can't live my life this way. I got to get better or whatever it may be, whatever that conversation may be. You know, you have to then, everybody talks about pros and cons. If it ain't making the list, you know the things that every time you do this, you get this result. Those things that you need to let go, let go of, and then start trying to do something more positive and quit worrying about what somebody's going to say about you. Because at the end of the day, a lot of the people that have something to say about what you're doing or how you're making your decisions and everything else, guess what? they don't even have to answer to you the consequences of the decisions that you're making. So then why even value that at that point? And then your real friends and family that really love you as you're going along this journey or transitioning or whatever, they might take a step back just to watch to see what kind of move you're putting down. They might be there and be like, you know what? We, We fully support you. And at the end of the day, as you support yourself, you'll learn to support and you'll flock to the people, as you said, uh, that you can move forward with and build upon with. Uh, and then that becomes more of a beautiful thing. But the biggest thing is the, 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 the me versus me. That's, that's a battle that a lot of people fight and face every single day. And I think one of the first things to even get to conquering that or facing that is saying, <laughs> I don't want to sound like the AA meeting or nothing, but you got to understand that you have a problem, really. You mm-hmm. know, and at the end of the day, even if you just say, hey, Hey, I can't live my life like this. You know, I want to be here. Once you have that vision or once you see that sight, that sight is the most powerful thing or that vision is the most powerful thing you can ever have. Because once you can see it, then you can plan and put action behind it. And I'll turn it back over to you, Mr. Epic. Uh, let me say this. Uh, I think, and I think I told you this off the uh, off the camera, off the air, off, off, off the all that. Uh, I said to you that people, once you get yourself together, it's going to work, work inside out. So once I get myself together, anything that's going on outside of me is going to become better because the true people going to know and see your growth, you know? Mm. So, but I, I, I definitely think working with yourself first is going to help out with any other relationship outside of you. Anything else, they don't really, they really ain't there for you in the first place. But the number one person, this is the time that I feel like people got to understand that it's okay to be selfish when it comes down to getting yourself better. Can you repeat that one more to, time, sir? I don't think everybody heard. I that think people clear. need to understand this is the one time that it's okay to being selfish Ooh. when you're getting yourself better. Uh, be, so be selfish it's okay to be selfish, to, Mr. Epic. Yeah, when it comes down to you and your mental health and you being a better person at the end of the day. Yeah, true enough, it might be all about me for a month, two months, six months, a year. But when I come out, I'm going to come out better than I was. Why not? If you really there for me, you will see what I'm going through and see my progress. And you be like, man, I, hey, I fuck with Epic. Excuse my French. I mess with Epic because of them reason. I mess with him because he's trying his best to be a the better, the best of best him. The be, the the man God want me to be. So question. I, I got you. Okay. Question is, okay, so what it you, that's a person that you know you you waiting to see if they messing with you or not. So should you continue if they not messing with you, or how should that be? Because a I'm lot of still, people, this is a challenge of a lot of people. I really believe this. You know, a lot of oh, people. Yeah. People aren't messing with them, and then that causes them not to move forward. How do you feel about that? Man, bro, they ain't really down for you in the first place. If they can't mm. understand that you're trying to get a better, be the better you, man, 
I'm going to tell you what Bernie Mac said in House 43. Shout out to House 43 and that whole cast. F them. Mm. If they don't like who you are and who you're trying to be, F them. You, you know what my dad really used what to say? Is. My dad What's used to say, that? you know, you know, it's life's like a roller coaster, right? Yeah. You know, at some point, the ride stops, right? Mm-hmm. And everybody that's getting on the next ride ain't going to be the same people that was on the last ride with you. Right, you right. said that again. So as you're going you to your dr- next ride, not everybody else is going to be on that ride with you. And it's okay. You know what? Yeah. Some people have the fear of heights. Some people have the fear of speed. Some people have the fear of change. Some people will put their fear on you. you. And so, and that's the reason why that's why I said, based off your question, when in this journey, there's nothing wrong with being selfish when it's come about you getting better. If anything, if that person really down for you, they're doing you like this. Not doing you like this. Pulling you back. I'm going to push you forward. I'm going to give you the words of confidence. Do what you got to do, bro. Do what you got to do. I see you at the end of the road. I'll be there. Because if, if, if I'm going to tell you like this. Mr. Swinnow, I know you're going on a journey. I, I'm, I'm right there on your heels. Hey, bro. Come on, bro. I got you. I believe in you, bro. That's where I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be, like, like I told you, if, if 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 I'm really down for you, I'm supposed to be at least a top five cheerleader. And then ain't on no weak stuff or nothing like that. If, but if I'm really down for you, man, right. hey, bro, don't listen to none of that. You're doing what you're supposed to do. That's man, I hope everybody's to catching our drift right now, man. You man, know, I, I, it, I don't think they are. Man, it's listen. First, it's first, hey. hey it's, keep it's, on it's, drifting, it's man. Hey, bro, it is. It is fourth and 13. Right. We need to catch this pass and keep this drive going. Now, right. either you're going to do what you got to do to get open, or you're going to sit there and, and let us lose the game because you over here worried about what everybody else is talking about. No, nah, it's about the number one team that you should be on is the team me. Not mm. me and Mr. Epic. Me and Mr. Swin is yourself. yourself. You know what I'm saying? And then my thing is, Everything else comes secondary, and there's nothing wrong with that because I feel like if you get a better you, team family is going to be better. Right. Team friends is going to be better. Absolutely. Team Drop coworkers them. work. Up, anything like gentlemen. that is going to be better. He's Man, my up. mic is hot over here. This thing yeah, is got on fire, bro. I understand nah, it. I didn't have to cut a fan on in this thing. But Man. that's it's nothing wrong with you being selfish when it's talking about becoming a better person, man. And, and I mean? here, and here, you can't be afraid to walk this journey alone for a little bit. I'm gonna say it again, man. <laughs> there comes points in your life where you know what, person A, person B, they're not gonna understand that the journey you're on, or they're not gonna have your vision. You can't expect them to have your vision or to, to have your back the way that you're gonna have your back. Once you lock in, you have to be prepared to travel the road uh, less traveled. And you might have to walk that thing by yourself. It might be rainy. It might get dark. It might be lightning. No it one might be thunder thing, outside. Come on, boy. You understand? But you well, have hey. to be prepared to walk that journey. And you know what? You need to walk that journey because you know you have that light. And the reason hey. why you have that light is because you have that vision. Hold on. And once Hold on. You, yes, sir. Hold on. I thought, Mr. I thought, I thought Ken Swin, Swin, Swin was gonna be here. I ain't know Reverend Drain was gonna man, be listen, here today. Reverend Drain comes in the house every now and then, <laughs> and hey, it's him. I didn't know he was coming hey. out today. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you one more thing before you even say something. Mm-hmm. Hey, when you was a kid, right? Yes, now sir. let's just speak. I don't know for sure. We gonna speak, you know. Uh-oh. But at one point in time, your parents walked you to school, right? They walked you, showed you what you need to do. Yeah, so yeah, you that you need to go ahead and stop yeah. at this stop sign. When the light turned green, you can go across. It might yeah. even be a crosswalk there. I think I got slapped screen. one time trying to cross the street without looking both ways. Mama was like, hey, bro, I, 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 hey, bro right. me too, multiple times. But right. then it was the day your mama said, you know what, son? I think you're good enough to go ahead and walk by yourself. I said, what? I got to do what? What? I'm, I'm going to do it by myself? Yeah, yep. big boy. Matter I got fact, this. Matter of fact, you not going to go by yourself. You're going to take your brother, too. Mm. Or you might take your sister, whoever else is with you. Man, why I got to take See, 
your parents put the trust in you a long time ago to walk by yourself. Right. They was telling you that you had the, what you needed. They had the trust in you. To you were be built that, for this. That person. You built for it. Right. I mean, better than Ford Tough. You built for it. You built for it. So my thing is, if you if your people gave you that trust a long time ago, they was preparing you for these roles where you was going to have to walk alone, man. Okay, now let me ask you this, right? Let's say the opposite part of it. You know, maybe it wasn't your parents that walked you to school and you had to learn the hard way and you had to walk yourself to school or you had to do it by yourself. You've been down the road before where you had to do it by yourself. Don't be afraid when it comes to getting better or achieving what you want to achieve to walk it alone. You were built it for this. It should be easier then, bro. Whether it should be you easier. did it by yourself whether you did it with your friends, whether you did whatever. At the end of the day, like Mr. Epic said, a better you is a better crew. Indeed. A better you is a better. We, as sometimes we have to separate to then be able to come back together and say, what did you gather? I gathered this. And then this is how I can be better for the team. What did you gather? I gathered this. And this is how I can be better for the team. What did you gather? I gathered these scars going through the trees and the bushes. But guess More what? Rooms. I found all this gold on the other side and I'm able to bring it back to the crew now. So these scars and everything were well worth the journey and the venture travel. So at the end of the day, the enemy within, you have to tell yourself and look at yourself and you, you got to sometimes you just got to say, hey, look, hey, I know you're scared. I know you're nervous, but you know what? You got to shake that stuff and let's move forward because this is the right thing. And I'm going to drop one more thing that I think that goes with the enemy within that a transition to a topic later. It's the brain versus the heart mentality. A lot of people like to think with their heart. I'm going to say this one more time. Drop a lot of people like to think with their heart. Man, say it one more time, man. Say a it lot of people time, like to think with their heart. When you hear people say, I feel like, I feel like, they're thinking with the heart. You ever hear somebody say like, Man, I knew I should have da 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 That means you was thinking with your heart when you made that decision. I knew mm -hmm. I should have is, man, I didn't use my brain. It don't mean mm -hmm. you stupid. It don't mean you ain't smart. It just means that you put your emotions in front of the brain. And listen, as we talk about the, the devil's advocate or the one on the shoulders and all that stuff, right? Think about it like this, okay? You have to remove the, the, the heart out of a lot of decisions that you're making in your life as you're trying to go on this journey of me versus me and moving forward, right? Um, the brain gets more practical. The brain is like the motor, right? That's a, a, of a car, right? Mm -hmm. I'm the engine, boom. Without the brain, there is no, you know, there is no functional life. The heart can keep pumping up. That's like the gas in the motor, right? That's what your heart is. The heart says, go get that motherfucker. Excuse my language, right? But that's what yeah. the heart says. The heart says, go get them. Yeah, man, they got us messed up. Da -da 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 -da. But you know, emotions make you cry sometimes, right? That's the first one. Yeah. H-Town. H-Town. Emotions come and go. 10 minutes later, you're like, oh, man, well, you was happy. Now you're sad. Now you're crying. Now you're happy. Like, emotions come and go. So you want to make decisions based on something that's going to come and go in a quick, frequent uh, a frequent amount of times? Like, no, you can't do that. You have to separate that, put that to the side, take the heart out, put it to the side, say, shut up, heart, and then go to the brain. Factual things. Okay, I know if I do this, it should set me up for something like this because now you're setting out your roadmap. Brain is factual, heart is temporary. Don't think on temporary thoughts. Think on concrete. You got it, Mr. Indeed. Epic. Oh, no, that, hey. We definitely gonna come back to that. We definitely, hey, I, hey, oh, that's why you my guy. <laughs> hey man, listen, but, I think it all ties into the. That's what people oh no, fight with, you oh know, no, when they're talking bit. about they self, me versus me, and how how we're every making bit. decisions. So you know, yeah. had to throw that I mean, out because, there to our people, man, but, because like, they deserve the gems. Me, for let me just say, you know, what I mean that to me, that's in rational thinking and prior knowledge thinking. To me, that's just me. The heart is irrational. Prior knowledge is the brain to me. You know what I mean? But I'm going to say something that I think I, I'm going to say for, for you. You know, if, if you go on to war, they say 
you cut the head off, destroy the body. Let me say it again, because I don't think y'all heard me. I think you cut the head off, you destroy the body. That went over my head. So your heart, you know what I mean? You're, you're meaning that without your brain, without any of that, your heart ain't got no functions, cuz. Absolutely. Your brain is the one that's telling you to breathe. Absolutely. Your brain is the one that's telling you to keep this blood flowing through your body. You know what I mean? When, you're, when you've when you been sitting somewhere too long and your ass get numb, it's your brain that's telling you that. It's not your heart. So that's that's what I'm saying. If you, if you go on war with yourself, if you want to destroy yourself, cut your brain off. You know what I mean? Don't think. Don't use it. You know what I mean? Put it on the shelf like an old dusty book that you don't want to read that somebody bought you. You know what I mean? But when you're doing that, remember what you're doing to yourself. You know what I mean? I dig that, you know, you know how you, you broke it down into something that we can carry over into uh, a later time. But to go back into the, you know, the, the battle with oneself, the, 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 the enemy within one, within, I'm just say, I'm sorry. So when you battling, you got to understand that I don't know if you ever did any boxing training or anything, but I know you in the past, I've seen you throw them things, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't through nothing, but, man. But, you know, that, that's, I ain't through that's just, but a fit. that's it. Yeah. But if, if you ever watch uh, Creed, I think it was Creed 2, or Creed 1. He told him to look in the mirror. You're not fighting your opponent. You're fighting yourself. So when every time you throw a punch, that punch is coming back at you. Now, that's the same thing when, when you're sitting here trying to battle and get better. You're telling yourself is don't want you to be better. It wants you to continue being who you are. Mm -hmm. Growth is very uncomfortable. Because you're comfortable who you once was. You've yes. always been that person. That person's familiar. A lot of people don't like change. So if you haven't changed within self, you're going to be uncomfortable. If you're growing, that's just like, like you said, you, you made a reference about a flower or, or, or a plant. Mm -hmm. Once you get that plant, you first got it, it was small, it could probably fit in your pocket. But it started growing because it got the, the nurture, being nurtured, being watered on a regular basis and getting sunlight and every, every time, just being around in the environment like you need to be to blossom and bloom. After a while, it don't fit in that same little pot. You got to replant it. This is the same thing that you're doing. You're replanting yourself. You replant yourself so you can continue growing. Now you put yourself in a bigger flower pot. Now you can you got more space. You, you're like, ooh. It feel good. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, I can do some new stuff. Absolutely. But then you started seeing that other doors is opening up for you too. Because now you in a different light, you in a different journey, you in a different path, you amongst different people that you probably wouldn't have never been around if you continue with that same mindset that you had back then. No doubt. So sometimes being in this situation, it's going to be uncomfortable, y'all. Absolutely. Please believe it. It's going to be uncomfortable, but if, if I had to be uncomfortable temporary so I could be the better me, bring on the uncomfort. Hey, so, so let's, let's, and, and this is a heck of a topic too, that, that deals with, uh, you know, enemy within man and, and me versus me. Yeah. Hey, uncomfortability. When you're comfortable, you're sitting still. Settling. You're settling basically. Okay, now where I'm going with is when you're uncomfortable, uh, 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 trying to figure out, but I'm moving, right? <laughs> I'm moving. Oh, shoot. Hold up. I'm uncomfortable. Man, get out of my way. Ooh, man, ooh. Ah, nah, man, just a seat. Boom. Yeah. Right? So here, here where I'm going with this. So as you get uncomfortable, that's when growth is happening because you're figuring out, hey, how do I get? to where I'm trying to go, like, oh, this ain't it. This used mm -hmm. to be comfortable. This used to be good. This this is no longer. So operating right, from sir, a standpoint, used it used to fit, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so operating from a standpoint of uncomfortability is a form of attacking me versus me, you know, and that's, that's okay. And the biggest thing is the winner at the end of the day is should be you. 
You know, uh, that's not a that's not a selfish thing uh, for you to be a better you. You know, selfish things are when you could have done better for somebody or by somebody and you chose not to. That's selfish. But one of the biggest things is I don't care if you have a kid, if you have a wife, if you have anything. If you have kids, if you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of the kids. If you have a wife right. or a husband or whatever it may be, if you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of them, right? If you have friends, man, we can't all be messed up and be friends. It doesn't, we can't all do that. It doesn't work like that. Somebody has to stand up and we all have to stand up at some point. And when you decide to, I'm not going to say it's as simple as just say, this is what you're going to do. It's little steps that you have to do to move forward, right? Now, the next thing is, as you decide and declare that this is a journey, all right, King Swin, all right, Mr. Epic, I want to take this step forward. Okay, well, the first thing is you have to see it, and then there has to be a commitment, okay? When discipline. I say discipline, commitment, you know, these are words that are going to be critical as we move forward on this journey, and I want you guys to know that we're here to walk this journey with you. And at the end of the day, you know, as you battle yourself, the biggest thing is to tell yourself, hey, I got to be better than this. And here, here's a quick story. There was a man, there was a wife, and there were two kids. The wife stayed at home. She made sure that the house was clean. She cooked for the kids. The kids went to school every single day. The husband went to work. They all need a pair of shoes. And the scenario is, who gets the pair? Who gets the pair of shoes? Right now, once again, it's a man that works, the woman that's at home taking care of the kids, and the kids go to school every day. There's only one pair of shoes that can be bought. Who gets the pair of shoes? Mr. Epic, what's your answer to that? She listen, neither of us get the shoes. Okay, so now the person that's working should get the pair of shoes because if he's no longer working, right? We can't put food in the house for her to cook, right? Can't buy the materials. You know, hey, the kids going to school and everything. Yeah, that stuff is cool. But then they have no roof over their head or anything else, right? So the True. person that's working should get the pair of shoes. And this comes back to the scenario of if you can't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anybody else, okay? So along right. this journey, one might say that's very selfish, King Swin. Is it very selfish or is it you taking doing what you have to do to be able to take care of the village, to raise the village and take care of the family. So along with that scenario, what I wanna just tell you guys is, don't be afraid to vision. Don't be afraid to dream. Don't be afraid to put action behind your vision or your dream and understand that if it's the right thing, people are gonna criticize. If it's the wrong thing, people are people gonna criticize. criticize. Yeah. So at the end of the day, take your journey, Take your lumps, because at the end of the day, if it's easy and you don't have any bumps and bruises along the journey, that's not the journey you're supposed to be on. That's not. Man, tell them again. Life. Tell them again. If it's I, easy. I, I dare not want you to tell them to say that everything you just said other than at the end of that story. If it's easy. That, somebody need to hear all that again. If bro. it's easy. I mean, if you have no bumps and bruises along that journey, it's probably the journey that you don't need to be on. Because at the end of the day, if you got to go through it to get to it, okay? And then as we go through it to get to it, then you will receive the fruits of your labor. And I just want to tell everybody, for me, Mr. King Swin, as we're about to sign out, Let me I just want to say thank you. No, no doubt. I'm going to pass it to you. No, no, no. Say no. Thank I mean, you, I'm going to say it right now. Because okay. one of the things that you said, everything that you said, but I just think we need to, I want to add one more thing. I ain't going to even say it's the icing the cake. Go ahead. It's okay to be selfish when it comes down to being better, being, being better for yourself. It's okay being a little bit of being selfish for yourself to be better. Mm -hmm. Then go ahead. I, I mean, I'm sorry to even cut you off, but no, I, that, I just needed to add that. That's, that is beautiful though, because a lot of people, Hey, I put everybody else before me, this, that, and other. Hey, that's dope. That's cool. That's whatever. But the but reality you is, yourself, though. set the rules for how we're going to play the game or how you're going to play the game for yourself first. Don't let somebody else set the rules for you. Indeed. Is what we're trying to get at.
And at the end of the day, when it's me versus me or the enemy within, you cannot let the enemy within conquer you because as the person who has to put out and put on, if you let the enemy within conquer you, you're going to fail. So if you catch my drift, right? So I want to tell everybody for myself, you know, thank you for tuning in to the first episode of Catch Our Drift with your boy King Swin, you know, uh, and Mr. Epic. And I'll let Mr. Epic finish his route out. Uh, We're going on a heck of a journey. And we're thankful to have everybody here. Um, As we continue forward, we're going to get deep. We're going to talk about topics that a lot of people won't talk about. Uh, We're going to walk this journey with you as we're walking the journey ourselves, okay? This is going to have, we're going to have some fun. We're going to do this thing right. Um, I want to just say thank you. Hey, listen, thank you for catching our drift. If you didn't catch our drift, hey, we're going to keep on drifting. And right now, this is King Swin, and hey, I'm drifting on out of here. Mr. Epic. Oh, that was damn near dope right there. I actually like that. That shit was nice. <laughs> but I'm going to just sit here and say, you know, there's nothing wrong with being a little selfish when it comes down to building yourself up. Because once you build yourself up, any other relationship that you're trying to have with anybody, better relationship with your kids, better relationship with your brothers and sisters, better relationship with your moms, your dad, your step parents, whatever the case may be, once you get yourself better, I think once you get yourself better, it also comes with better understanding with other people that's surrounding you. More patience for the people that's coming around you. Not only patience with them, but patience with yourself. Mm. You are always going to be your biggest critic. Absolutely. But don't criticize yourself so much that you putting yourself down that you're worthless. You're worth something. God wouldn't put you here if you wasn't worth anything. God will give you all these special talents that you have that you just haven't tapped into just to be worthless. You're here to serve a purpose. Absolutely. Whatever that purpose is, you got to find it for yourself. But we're just here to help you understand that you're not the only ones that go through these problems. We're ordinary people with common people problems. And we're just trying to help out people and just give voice to a voiceless. We're just trying to make you guys understand that some of the topics we're going to come with are so serious that someone need to hear. And if you know that what we said today could help somebody else out, man, pass it forward, bro. Information is free. So don't mm. be selfish and hold on to it, man. Pass that along, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because what's the point of having knowledge if you're not trying to at least spread it out? I'm trying to spread my knowledge, and I'm not trying to be funny when I say this. I'm trying to spread any knowledge that I have for anybody like AIDS. You heard what I said, and I'm going to sit back when I said that. That's how I'm going to spread the knowledge I have like the coronavirus. I'm going to spread the knowledge I have because what's the point of being knowledgeable if you're not trying to help out people to get the same thing? Knowledge is free. Give it to whoever you need to give it to. Believe in self. Because if you don't believe in yourself, how can you believe in anybody else? Absolutely. Be true to yourself. Absolutely. You can lie to anybody else that you want to lie to. But when you lie to yourself, who give a damn about what you tell me? Because I know you're going to lie to me if you lie to yourself. Mm. And that's real. This is Epic to Don. Please come back for the next episode because we're going to keep on giving y'all hot topics to talk about. We're going to keep on allowing y'all to see these beautiful mugs right here. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Especially mine. I don't know about his. (laughs) You know what? I never had a problem with any of that type of stuff. But, you know, thank everybody for tuning in to us. Catch our drift. And, hey, man, sincerely from Mr. Epic, sincerely from King Swin. Hey, look at the Mac. Hey, what's that shirt? Who who did that shirt, man? Oh, oh, give a shout out to my missus. uh, Fashions by JC. You hear what I'm saying? And then I got to shout out mine. This is Damaged Pedals. Shout out your boy at DamagedPedals.com. That's my brother, Mr. Katie Harris. Hey, check him out on Instagram. Man, give them both love, y'all. Yeah, give them both love. Hey, we out here, we representing, and we're here to do this. Episode one is in the books. If you catch our drift, and we...